and we're live. Or so I think. Uh, I'm starting the stream a whole two minutes early because uh, I just wanted to get kind of give a warm up for all of you guys who are watching right now and for myself, uh, just to make sure everything is running smoothly. I got in contact to Intel through full screen, which is the multi-channel network that I'm partnered with for, through YouTube and whatnot. And so there was a rep from full screen who was like, hey, you know, I, I hear you're into tech and stuff. You might be interested in this opportunity. It's this weird box that they have. There's stuff inside of it. We want you to do kind of a surprise unboxing, uh, a mystery unboxing, if you will. So about a week later, this arrived on my doorstep and, uh, and now it's time for me to unbox it. I, I literally have I shouldn't say I have no idea what it is because they kind of drop some hints. So I think there might be a processor in here, uh, one, one of the new Skylake processors, but I'm not sure which one. Um, and the box is super heavy. So I, I'm thinking there's gotta be more in there than just a little CPU. Um, but uh, why don't we take a look at the box first of all, because the box in itself warrants a whole discussion. I could go on for, for days about the box. Uh, it is pretty cool. Um, again, it's called the Intel Box Master System, and I've got my, my uh, handy dandy webcam set up here. Look at this. Boom! Oh, yeah, I, I, I planned this. I totally thought this through. Uh, so here's a good look at the front of the box, and I kind of like what they've done. They've made it look like kind of a retro Atari type package uh, with like the really cheesy cartoon family on the front um, and just like the text and the, the neon colors the, the stupid rainbow thing stripe on the side that we're all familiar with it even has like a fake uh, video game cartridge that's supposed to resemble like an Atari or maybe an, even an, uh, an NES cartridge uh, but let me just read the, uh, the actual flavor text here it says uh, well first off you get new hi-fi 8-bit audio which is impressive I should say it is not full of rocks Kuda chorus, don't lie. <laughs> don't spoil it for everyone. Ha, <laughs> damn it, it's just a bunch of rocks. Um, so it says the Intel Box Master System is fun for the whole family. I should read it in a really cheesy 80s voice, shouldn't I? The Intel Box Master System is fun for the whole family. Dive in with immersive, color enabled interactivity that delivers a wholesome and educational gaming experience. The kids will love it, and so will mom and dad. Now that's just neat. Non stop action. Numeric scoring, true to life game sounds, easy touch control pad, and high quality wood paneling. I, I will die inside if this thing, if what, whatever in here has high quality wood paneling, I think that'll be hilarious, but uh, I highly doubt that. I think this is all just kind of for theatrics. Uh, it says Sky Guardians exclusively for Intel, uh, in, for Intel box, and at first I was like, no way, did they actually include some kind of old school Atari Intel game, Intel sponsored uh, cartridge in here that's like from the 80s or whatever? Uh, and no, it says it's sold separately, so they're, they're just, uh, they're just blowing smoke there. It also says electric toy. Okay, I, I believe it's electric, I believe that. Toy, not so much. I think they might be, uh, might be an underwhelming statement there. Caution recommended for children six years and over, so, um, if this is a CPU, Kids who are are six and over, um, you can start overclocking uh, at that young age, at that very prime, that prime time in your in your youth. Uh, recommended for children six years and over. As with electric, all electric toys, precautions should be observed during handling and use to prevent electric shock. So uh, maybe there's an anti-static wristband in here as well. Uh, no adult toys. Stop getting ideas. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna unveil it. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. It's another box. Wow. Okay, that was a, that was a bit uh, disappointing there. Um, but this this one looks a bit more sturdy. It looks like it kind of looks like a toolbox actually. So let me take this out really quick. It's got nice foam packaging, so that's good. That's a good indication that what's inside of this box isn't broken yet, at least. All right. Oh, look at that. It is. It does have high quality wood paneling. Yes. I mean, look at this box. This box is kind of crazy looking. This is very old school. It reminds me of an old NES, definitely. Very cool. Oh, and it's got even it's it's even got like a fake some fake power port. It looks like a like a DC power port right there like the old school NES, but it's uh, totally fake. It's just carved into the wood, some plastic etching and stuff. Okay, so um I guess I guess I should open this, right? Let me center this so you guys can see. All right, here we go. Opening. Oh, oh, there's, there's more secrets. 
There's more suspense here. I, when am I gonna actually get to see what's in this stupid thing? Okay, uh, it's got a power switch and some kind of like, some buttons here with a reset. I'm gonna flip the power switch. Uh-oh. What's happening? Reset. Guys, I can't, I can't, it's not working. The power, I'm not supposed to actually turn this on. There's no power, I mean, that's completely fake. So it's gotta be a built-in battery of some sort. It is not a time machine. Okay, I'm gonna try to just open it with pure force. Guys, don't try this at home. <laughs> I totally hacked that shit. Totally hacked. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out what went wrong with this. Oh, I see there's a, look at this. There's a bit of damage here. I guess the foam packaging didn't work out all so well after all, but it looks like one of the, oh, there's a battery. There's a battery in here. Hold on, let me switch back to the, um, to the DSLR. So you guys can kind of see here. It looks like one of the batteries slipped out of its socket there. And uh, I'm gonna try to put it back in. I hope this works. I hope I don't electrocute myself right now. Haha! Okay, the power switch still isn't working. You know what? Screw it. I've already opened the box. I don't need that. I don't need any of that crap. I'm sure... Uh, okay, so what they told me... I do know what this is, though. They, they did uh, reference this in the email. Apparently, this thing is supposed to... Um, you have to kind of enter a code to unlock the box. Uh, and the code was each each one of these buttons essentially represents a, uh, a note. A musical note of some sort. And you had to do the, uh, the Intel theme. Dum, 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 to actually unlock the box, which I thought would have been really cool for the stream, but uh, unfortunately I think one of the, something happened in uh, shipping and it kind of got damaged or just uh, one of the batteries got kicked out. I tried putting the battery back in, but it still didn't work. So onto the, onto the meat of this package. Let's just go right back to the webcam here. Give you guys a, a good look. AMD's box wouldn't have broke. Is that, is that a fact? Um, Intel inside, unlocked performance outside. And I do have to give a, a really quick shout out to Intel. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out already, you can go to their Unlocked Performance website. I will put it in the video's, video's description uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you're not watching it on YouTube, the, you can go to INTE.LY slash unbox. I'll just type it in chat right now. INTE.LY slash unbox for more information. Um, and you can kind of find out a little bit more about I don't know, maybe how to get one of these kits? I'm not too sure. Um, but, uh, whoa, hey, Intel Core i7 process. I should have seen this right from the get-go, but just caught my eye right here. We've got an i7 Skylake processor, and I can only assume this is a 6700K. Which, if it is, I will be very excited because I have the perfect uh, hardware to, to kind of go with it and to complement it. So, let's open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the webcam. Bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Webcam time. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. pink foam, my fave. And underneath that is, it's a, uh, it says Intel Confidential, so it is an engineering sample, but it is clocked at four gigahertz, which means it's a 6700K. So, sweet. We got a 6700K, guys. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Here's a, here's a close-up look at the chip. And this is actually really great because, um, sorry, the, uh, the glare on this webcam is just god-awful. But uh, I will be doing some benchmarks with this now that I have one. Um, I didn't have a 6700K beforehand, uh, up until now. I did have a 6600K, the Core i5, uh, which uh, I got directly from Intel. Uh-oh! I think the, uh, I think my, um... My DSLR lens just auto shut off, so let me just go ahead and click that really quick. There we go. Ugh, oh, love, love live streaming. It's just like, shit goes wrong and no fucks are given, because because that's how we do. Um, but let's move on to the rest of the package. It is still quite hefty. There might be something else in here. Oh no, they did not. Oh no, they didn't. Did it, 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 and what? No way. Really? 
a 750 series NVMe SSD. Holy moly, this is pretty sweet. And this is the uh, the PCI Express version as well. Oh my goodness, 400 gig. It's not the 1.2 terabyte. Uh, model. I would have liked that higher capacity, but I am not going to complain at all. Let me go ahead and get this guy in right here. All right. Why are you guys saying rest in peace? Is that is that in reference to the stream? Are we still live? I hope so. Oh, we're at 97 viewers. We're at 97 viewers. Let's let's try to hit 100. Let's freaking do it. All right. Let's freaking open this thing up. Wow. I'm actually look at this PCIe Gen 3 by four awesome 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 i don't have one of these at all i know paul has the uh, 2.5 inch version but i don't think he has a pci express model i think he's just got the the two and a half inch that he put in arctic panther his uh, custom water cool build wow this is i've actually never even seen one of these in person jesus it's 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 pretty guys it's a very pretty card and um Wow, I I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm excited at the possibilities. Cause uh, holy shit, this is this is such a nice little package that Intel's thrown together here. Um, but there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys want me to do with this. I mean, maybe other than some typical benchmarks, what kind of benchmarks would you want to see done with this uh, NVMe drive? Uh, Cause I'm I'm kind of at a loss right now. I'm I'm all just like kind of in shock. This has been pretty sweet, but. Um, I know, I know you're all getting an erection. I know, it's, trust me, this table actually got like two inches higher uh, after opening that. Uh, but uh, I think that's pretty much gonna conclude it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for checking out this unboxing um, of the Intel Box Master System. Again, go ahead and check out the Performance Unleashed website at Intel if you're so inclined. And uh, maybe you can find a way to somehow procure one of these awesome little packages. Uh, if you guys, are watching this on YouTube, feel free to like the video. If you liked it, dislike it. If you dislike it, actually, that's what Linus says. Screw that. Just just like the video. I don't care. Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel, as always, if you haven't already. Till next time, guys. The Cowboy Awesome Sales Network. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.